That is a girl! Yay! <laughs> Hi, baby! I love you! <laughs> Look at her ears, dude! Look at her little ears! Oh, like candy pie! Wow. wow. Alright, we've got one more to check. My guess, he's a boy. Hello, guys. Yeah, it looks like we got a boy. boy. Oh, caught it. No. And this is the caught it. He looks like a boy. He does. The rule of thumb is, if you're not prepared for lambs, they come. And had I been prepared for the lambs, they would not have shown up today. <laughs> In fact, we probably could have gotten through this entire cold stretch and then they would have come. So what's gonna happen is, since we have lambs today, give it a week and a half, there's no more lambs coming, and then we're gonna go do something, go somewhere, more lambs are gonna show up. Yes. That's how it works. Rule of thumb. Yeah. The good news is this set of twins are healthy. Mama did a great job drying them off. And it is only about 25 degrees outside right now. So she's okay for right now. The concern is that from here on out, the temperatures are going to steadily drop yes. and we're going to get some wet weather on top of that. So it's not just the cold, it's the wet coupled with the cold and that trickling down to the lamb's bare skin. So we need to get everybody put into their little safe lambing pens so that they are warm and we don't have any catastrophes. They're dry so we're not going to need the towels. If you guys can just bring down some bales of straw, bring down the minerals and get some buckets of water and fill up the stalls. Yeah. yeah. All right, guys. Let's unscrew these brackets right here, pull these posts out and pull the fence out of the way and the scoop everything, drag it out and it's about a <laughs> foot thick. Yeah. It's nice, thick, deep bedding <laughs> from it's last got, season. It's time to go. It's got to go. We have three different lambing pens inside the upper part of our barn. We usually just pair up the mamas that get along and tolerate each other's babies and then separate the mamas who are not very friendly with certain mom's babies. It's weird the way it works, but there is a method to the madness. All right, we're good. We only need to pull the front side off, right? Yeah, of course. These lamb pens have really held up over the past few years. I just pretty much got everything from a job site that's gonna go out in the trash. <laughs> and uh, made it all work. So it worked out great. They're sturdy, they do the job. But the great thing about these are, you can unscrew them and pull them out, clean everything out, and then put them back in. Lambs make miserable weather fun. I'm not sure if you're aware of this. Uh, it's still miserable weather, it really is. <laughs> but at least there's something to look forward to. So it says we're getting two to three inches of snow. So your calculations weren't totally off and get ready for all this. She was just early. She was early, <laughs> definitely so. <laughs> Each of the lambing pens are equipped with some hay for the mamas to eat. Also their minerals and some water that's up high enough to where the babies are safe around the water. You do have to be careful with having water down low enough to where a little lamb or a goat kid could get in and drown in there. So we keep ours up high enough to where the mamas can drink, but the babies don't have enough access to actually climb into the bucket. Our ewes are grass fed, except for when they are nursing. At that point, we add in some grain so that they have extra calories and can produce plenty of milk. This side's opened up, so we gotta do is scoop everything out from this side, work this pin first, then work everything this way and pull it back and pull it all out. I think this stall's good. Yeah. Don't do what we do. Wear a mask when you do this sort of thing. Wear everything back together. Yeah, I'm ready. Wind chill out. That's cold, girl. How very electrician of you. Oh, she's good at staples, yes, me. <laughs> Ran out, you know, use some road bags. Call them number 14 special. <laughs> Back of the mini truck, the minerals, the bucket of water. Oh, I got the mineral. And get the feeders hung back up. I think we're 
We're ready to move the mama and her babies inside of the lambing mm -hmm. pen in the barn so that they stay warm. The wind is gnarly outside. It's pretty nasty. Our animals are going to be experiencing unusual temperatures. Yeah. So while it's kind of normal temperatures, I guess, for somewhere up north here in West Virginia, being a wind chill that is well below freezing, along with, you know, snow, any freezing rain that we end up getting. It's just not a good situation for some babies. Yeah, so. especially baby wet lambs when they come out, so. <laughs> They're cuddling. They're trying to stay warm. I know. Ooh. Look at those babies. No joke, dude. It's so cold. Oh my goodness. Oh. They're gonna be a lot warmer in the barn. Oh yeah. There they are. Two little white dots in the pasture. Mama's staying relatively close. The whole flock's over here keeping an eye out. We'll just grab the lambs. Leave mama back. Yeah. Keep an eye out for the rams. Aww. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll probably watch out for the rams. Y'all grab the little lambs. Okay. Yes. You grab one and Carter can grab one. Yeah. I can help dad watch the rams. Okay. I got you. You got her? Yeah, I got her. Okay, hold on. Come here, honey. Uh, oh, you're a good girl. Here, go, Carter. Thank you. Yep. Okay. Let's let mama see you. Come on, Mama! Come on, Mama! 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 This mama's a little bit more skittish, so Carter just lets her see the baby, and she follows the baby and follows the bellow, and it's an easy way to lead her where we need to go. Every now and then he bends down just to let her know he's still got the baby, and she keeps up. Don't worry, Leon! It's all good over here, bud. That was easier than I expected it to be. Yeah. Yeah. Easy. Right, let's get baby warm. Look how cute you are. Good girl. Hey, mama. Hopefully, we at least don't have any more lambs until tomorrow. Open up. Until daylight. Good night, babies. Good night, mama. You did a good job, mama. Pasta for dinner. Yay! I love you. I love you too. We got warm, cozy lambs tonight. Yeah. We gotta go back out and check again, though. Yeah. <laughs> hopefully, there's no more at least. Yeah, hopefully. Not until tomorrow, anyway. Imagine. Imagine if we went back out, we saw um, a mom, and then she had four babies. Oh my goodness. <laughs> at least their bed's ready. Yeah. Sprinkle it all over. It looks so good, right? Oh, yeah. This is going to warm us up from the inside out. Oh, yeah. I am so excited. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> looks good. Nailed it. Not going to lie. This will warm us up, and then we can go back out and look for lambs. <laughs> <laughs> Do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, eleven. No lamps. So much snowball standing. So it looks like Leon found the crew though. That's a good news. <laughs> Leon did find the crew. Okay, yeah. we'll check tomorrow. Wait, go back that way. What's that right there? That's Millie's baby? Yeah, yeah, yep, we're good. All big ones. Yep, no, no ones. No other ones. We're good. Let's go outside. It's cold. <laughs> yeah, it's so cold. We're ready. 
This video is sponsored by Helix. Three years ago, we got our very first mattress from Helix, and the rest is history. Our sleep has forever been improved. Helix has premium mattresses customized to fit your needs that come all rolled up in a box and are conveniently shipped to your door for free within the US. Everybody is different, and Helix knows that, which is why they made the sleep quiz to match your unique body type and sleep preferences to find the perfect mattress for you. They have something for everyone's unique taste, and if you sleep with a partner, you can even take the sleep quiz together and and find something that's a perfect compromise for both of you. We were matched with their Midnight Lux mattress, which is a medium feel mattress and the perfect fit for side and stomach sleepers like Josh and I. What I think I like most about our Helix mattress is that I'm still just as in love with it today as I was three years ago when we first got it. It never got that worn out lumpy feeling like a lot of other mattresses, but instead it still is supporting our backs and it still has me really excited to crawl into every single night. Plus, Helix mattresses do not contain fiberglass, which can be harmful to your health. In fact, Helix owns its own manufacturing facility, which is entirely free from products containing fiberglass. If it makes you nervous to buy something that you haven't tried, Helix is a 100-night sleep trial to ensure that you love it, plus there's a 10-year warranty, and they even offer financing options and flexible payment plans. We love our Helix mattress and think that you would too, so if you're looking for a new bed, be sure you check out Helix Sleep. They're running a flash sale right now, so it's the perfect time to upgrade your sleep with 25% off a Helix mattress plus two free pillows. Click the link below or go to helixsleep.com slash wildwonderful to find out more about this limited time offer. Look at that little baby. Little baby right there. <laughs> <laughs> One's nursing. Other one's resting. <laughs> Everybody's happy. How you doing, Mama? This thing's hoping that frozen solid. We'll see. <laughs> As you guys know, we're fully off grid here. And for the past few years now, when it gets really cold like it is today, we've been using this guy to heat the powerhouse up. It's not safe or the safest way to do it, but it's what we had. However, this year we have a split system here. We haven't really been using it for AC or heat so far, but that thing is usually here just for backup. Because right now we have two freezers in here. We have an 85 gallon pressure tank. We have the inverter and the chargers behind me that all put out heat. So when it gets down to 25, it's still warm enough in here. It's above 32 degrees to keep these things warm. But when it gets down to nine degrees like today, we need some backup. So the batteries can operate at below 32 degrees Fahrenheit, but the issue is not the operation, the issue is the charging. So they need to be up above 32 degrees to charge, so that's why we have the split system in here. We have clear skies coming tomorrow, so it's going to be charging here. I think the high is going to be, I think, around 15, I think, if I'm not mistaken. But with the wind chill, it's going to be below zero. So like I said, we're going to be charging tomorrow. The split system is going to be operational, pumping heat in here, so we don't have to worry about any freezing batteries. There's a few conveniences when living off grid, like when it snows, we gotta go out there and clean the panels off. We gotta maintain the temperature in the powerhouse. And also we gotta be, I guess, aware of what we're using inside the house when it comes to power consumption. But when we do get those days of storms, the ice, the rain, the snow, when our neighbors are out of power for a few days, we don't miss a beat. So our system is backed up everywhere. So we make our own water, get it from the earth. We make our own power, we get it from the sun. To provide heat in the powerhouse, we have a mini split that runs off the solar. We also heat our house with the mini splits inside with solar power. We also heat our house with the wood from the 60 acres of forest we have. Like the old saying goes, um, redundancy, one is none and two is one. We have animals in the field. We have freezers stocked full of food of the animals from the field that eat the grass. <laughs> no, nice way to put it, but that's how it works. <laughs> Living off grid, we try to live a more sustainable life and we're self sustained here. So if we get to stay home for the next four, five, six months, we're covered. 12 watts, yeah. We're making nothing. There's all the snow. That's why we have these guys. <laughs> of course. <laughs> this right here is the state of our job site or our house. It is a snow covered mess. If it's not snowing, it's raining. When it's raining, it's freezing at night. So. 
It's a little bit slippery. A little slick. So while we wait out this so-called Arctic blast, we are pretty much hunkering down and just making sure that the animals on the farm are taken care of. Yeah, why not, girl? Hey, bud. How you doing? Oh, he loves you. <laughs> he loves you, Daddy. No, I know he does. Look how pretty you are. All right, your job is going to be to distract him while we try to muscle this big round bale over, okay? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> She's uh, ready for some hay, so... We got a muscleless hay bale around. Aaron and I, I don't have the tractor with me. It's a little cold, didn't want to start this morning. The boys are up top in the front of the fire doing a little schoolwork and uh, <laughs> cross your fingers. I'm not sure if we're gonna make it. One, two, three, spin. <sighs> The wind chill just has it painfully cold outside. This is not normal temperatures for our animals or for us humans in West Virginia. It's cold. Yeah. <laughs> Not enough snow to play in, just enough snow to make things more difficult. Yeah. <laughs> and this snow doesn't even form balls. It's not even good for snowball fights. That's no fun. Yeah. Oh, there they are. How in the heck did they get split half and half like that? I have no idea. But if we open that gate down there, push the other ones down by a pond, the other ones will come around through that gate and go into the pond with them. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna <split> <laughs> I'm gonna <laughs> fall, dude. We typically don't have sheep problems. <laughs> Maybe some walking problems. If we're, not, if we're going out of the hill, y'all can't tell. But I think Leon might be up to something. <laughs> Either he, Leon has some sort of secret passageway set up. I have no idea, dude. But they're down there together on opposite sides of the fence. Oh, goodness. Everybody's accounted for, though. That's the good news. Yeah. Look, I'm about to eat it. I'm not gonna lie. I, you already ate it once. <laughs> and I. Leon, what have you been up to, sir? You're in charge of that flock, dude, not me. I'm here to help, Leon. How's it going, big guy? You want us to get your girls back? I'll get them back. Oh, he has icicles on them. Yes, he does. Oh, 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 oh buddy. Let's push them all back. You want to go back to that gate? Yeah. Push it back. Oh! Is that Millie? Yeah. Oh, that's Millie. She nice. tried to jump the fence and. That's Millie's father. It's Millie's baby. Hi, buddy. Hey. Look at that ice on you, bud. It's so cold, you're covered in icicles. I know, bud. You need to spend more time in the barn. All right, let's get your ewes back. Oh, there they go. Look at her. Lead him back, Lee. Look at her. 
Oh, good boy. Hey, Leon knows. They're going through. They're going through. They're going through. They're going through. They're all in. There you go. Yeah. Nice. They're in. We got them back up. <laughs> the pond's frozen. Everything here is frozen. My hands are frozen. My toes are frozen. I have a find a hole in a fence somewhere. I'm not sure how they got out. <laughs>